Hi, this is JNM today again with an Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. This one is about direct blueprint communication. This is a very simple project to which I imported the starter content and a lamp model that I created with Blender and exported as FBX. Very simple, just for demonstration. Then I created an actor blueprint to which I added the lamp model and also a point light. Ok, this is the blueprint that I want to call from another blueprint, so I will add a function to it that I will call to enable and disable the point light. It is very simple. I rename the function to set light state and then I right click to add a node to set the visibility of the point light. The node is called set visibility and you can select it for the point light component. So you can see the target is set to the point light and then I connect the function node to this one. Ok, to set the new visibility we have to define a parameter for the function, an input parameter and this will be of type boolean and I name it visible. Then I connect this parameter to the set visibility node to the new visibility and our function is completed. As I said, I want to call this from a different blueprint and this is a widget blueprint that has two buttons to enable or disable the light. Alright, this is the UI, so let's switch to the graph and add event handlers that are called when the buttons are clicked. Ok, select the button, then go here to the events and select the event on clicked. Alright, that was the off button. Now do the same for the other button to turn on the light. Great, so we have two on-clicked event handlers. And what I want to do now is to add a variable that has the type of the first light blueprint. Because we want to call the function that we defined for this blueprint. The function set light state. I call the variable light bp and this is important, you have to define it as editable and expose on spawn. I will explain this in a moment. Ok, now I drag the variable into the widget blueprint as a getter and now we can drag out the function set light state that we just defined. Then connect it to the on clicked of the on button. And for this we set the parameter visible to true. Then I copy and paste this node by pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl V and connect it to the off button click. And this time make sure the visible is set to false. The target is again the light blueprint variable. Alright, and now let's create this widget and add it to the viewport. I do this here in the level blueprint, right click and add a begin play event. Then we need a player controller as a parameter for creating the widget. Ok, this is the node, create widget. And here we select the widget blueprint with the buttons to control the light. But first I connect the player controller, I assign it here to the owning player. And then I select the widget blueprint class that I want to create. This is the light switch widget blueprint. Once we selected this, you see we have the light blueprint exposed here on spawn. This is why I checked expose on spawn for the light blueprint variable in the widget. Ok, now we have to add this to the viewport, so I select this add to viewport node and connect the widget to the target. The only thing that is missing now is to define which light blueprint should be called when the buttons are pressed. Well, I will use the one that I have in my level and I can just drag this into the level blueprint as a variable. Directly here from the outliner 
into the blueprint. Ok, then I assign it, save, compile and start the game. So you see, works pretty nice, but the coupling between the buttons and the light is very tight. For this use case, it would be better to be notified when the buttons are clicked and then you can react in your light component or in any other component when the buttons are clicked. And how this can be done using custom events, I will show you in the next part. Ok guys, I hope you like this short tutorial for blueprint communication. If you do, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you have any questions, then add these to the comments below. Follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Support me as my patron and I'll see you in the next one.